What's up guys, Felix the Creator here. In this short tutorial, I will show you how to create a shake effect in Premiere Pro. In this example, we will add this shake effect at the baseline of a music track. So for this quick tip tutorial, I'm using some stock footage from Artgrid.io and we have this cool hip hop track here from Artless.io. And before we start, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. At the first step, we want to add a marker on every position where we want to create the shake effect. There are two easy ways to do this. One way is to bring the cursor at the position where you want to set uh, the marker. In this case, we want to add the marker to the baseline. So you can drag the cursor right here and you can click here on add marker. And as you can see, you have the marker right here at the timeline. But the easiest way is to hit the M on your keyboard to add a marker. And this is an awesome feature. You can play back your edit and if you hit the M on your keyboard, you can place a marker wherever you want. Note, here's a short extra tip. If you want to adjust your audio exactly, you have to open the drag down menu here and select the show audio time units. With this function, you can adjust your audio even better. And now you have to zoom in here at the first marker. And now we want to add some cuts here frame by frame. So we will start at the marker point and now hit the right arrow on your keyboard. Select the C on your keyboard to select the razor tool or select the razor at the toolbar. Make a cut, jump another frame to the right with the right arrow on your keyboard. So for this example, we make a cut at every frame for the next seven frames. Now hit the V on your keyboard to switch back to the selection tool or click here on the selection tool. Select the first frame and scale this up to, let's say 105. Leave the next frame at 100. Go to the next frame and again say 105. Now it's always the same workflow. You have to skip one frame and scale the other frame up to 105. And that's it. Now we have created this shake effect in Premiere Pro really fast. So this is a really fast way to create a shake effect in Premiere Pro. And if you like these kind of videos, you have to watch one of my favorite videos where I will show you how to create a popular music video effect in Premiere Pro. So check this out and see you soon, Felix the Creator. Mm -hmm.